So the other day I was uh, going out to see a customer and I dropped my phone. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that on the on the uh, on the camera, but you can see there's a line going across here, and the phone, the screen is 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 smashed. So what do you do? The point of today's video is what do you do when you've got a broken phone and you need to get your data off it? And, or you need to be able to get access to it or you need to be able to get some of those uh, settings transferred over. So what I'm going to do is show you today is a couple of things to be able to have an alternative screen than the screen that you have on your phone. Wait to the end because at the end I'm going to show you a really neat trick to do with a broken phone. So let's jump to it. The first thing I want to show you is the, the ingredients, the things you're going to need to do this task. So the first thing you're going to need is a little uh, hub like this. Uh, this is a USB-C powered six in one hub we do the, we sell these ourselves uh it's got a hdmi uh usb uh, type c and micro sd ports usb 2 ports and so forth now the really cool thing about this is if we just take it out of the box and i can show you on the camera you get this really neat it's a nice little hub um and you've got the hdmi in the end there you can see that HDMI port there and at the other end you've got USB-C uh, along with that you've got a couple of um, USB ports and another USB-C there so this is for uh, adding power to the device and then you've got some micro SD, uh, micro SD slot there so some of the other things you're going to need to make this work is you're going to need a full-size HDMI cable so we have a full size HDMI cable here. So this is just a, a regular HDMI cable that you would use on your uh, PC. And because our little hub here, this needs some power, uh, I'm gonna use our SunVision uh, USB-C charger that you've seen me uh, do a little review on these on the uh, another video, which I'll put up in the somewhere up here somewhere. So we're going to use this to uh, power the device. It doesn't always need it because sometimes you get the power coming from the phone. Because we want to be able to uh, make sure that we can uh, access the uh, get the fire get the device fired up, and we can actually access the phone. I'm going to power it with this USB-C charger, which we're going to use. And of course, you need to have the appropriate USB-C to USB-C cable to power, obviously, to put in the brick. So. That will go into here. This will go into the device in the USB-C. So this will go into here like so. And that will then power this device. And then this end will go into the phone. So this is now going to go into the into the USB-C port of the actual phone. So we're just going to make sure that you know we've got it all our ingredients before we get started. So there you go. I've powered, I've powered up my little my dock, as I like to call it. It's my little dock or hub, whatever you want to call this. So you see the little power lights, I don't know if you see that on the on the camera, but the little power light's now on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug the HDMI cable in and I'm gonna plug this in, the other end of this into my uh, monitor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now looking at my phone and the screen's completely fine. But what do you do if you wanna control the phone now so I now want to be able to control the phone so there's a couple of ways that we can do this so the first way we can do this is by using a keyboard and a mouse plugged into my little uh, docking unit here so if I plugged a keyboard and a mouse into this docking unit I could actually uh, type I can move the pointer around and that is also quite useful the other way of doing this is by using a piece of software called phone link phone link is an application that comes with Windows 10 it's really useful, I use it all the time. And Phone Link will actually allow you to not only connect to your phone, but with the with the application you can go ahead and you can you know control the phone and you can then also be able to transfer files. You can drag and drop files from off your phone onto your desktop. The other thing it can also do is it, it can also allow you to control the phone. So there is a, uh, if I just bring this up on my screen right now, you'll see. So what we're looking at here is the Microsoft PhoneLink application. And as you can see here, you can access um, applications. You can uh, take a look at your photographs and you've also got the ability to make calls. 
And over here on the left hand side, you can see that we've got things like battery and Wi-Fi connections and so forth. But the important thing is this little icon over here on the left hand side. And what this is, is this screen here, which now pops up and allows you to control your phone. So from here, we can actually control the phone. So if we go down, say, to the bottom um, or over an item, we can drag down the menu and we can flick across to uh, different things. We can go into settings and if we go into the cog, we go down to the bottom here. You can see that I can now um, manipulate the phone as if I was had the phone in my hand. So this is a really useful tool and can help us get out of a situation where the screen is cracked uh, broken and we can't actually use the uh, touch screen on the phone but we want to be able to uh, make sure that all the settings and uh, backup features are turned on before we do a, do the transfer so now there is one only question left and that is what do we do with this phone obviously one of the things you can do is straight away get it get your transfer data transferred across you can then get it wiped get it factory reset, sell it on somebody who wants to repair it or use it for spares or whatever, or repairs. You could trade it in. You could do all that sort of stuff. But what if that phone has got some other value? In other words, can it be repurposed for another use? There is another feature that is available on Samsung S, S phones called Dex. And what Dex does is it gives you a full desktop application that you can use on that phone. So I'm gonna bring it up. Okay, so I've just brought it up. I'm, again, I'm having to record this on a separate screen, um, but I put it up right now. And what you're looking at is a full Android desktop where you have now got uh, full access to your applications. You've got access to all the features and functionality of your phone, but in a desktop application. It's equivalent of having your Microsoft Windows, for example. Now, I think this is a great feature because what you can do with this is you can repurpose your phone and turn it into a mini desktop computer by using your uh, docking unit here and a keyboard and a mouse you can uh, effectively turn that phone into a fully fledged desktop pc running android you could uh, have it as an alternate to having a, a, a windows pc for example you can have it to one side and you can use it as an alternative windows pc and i think this is what makes technology great because with a you know with a small investment of uh, one of these uh, HDMI cable which are likely to have lying around your uh, charger cable your USB-C charge cable we talked about in the previous video you could put together a very simple desktop computer running um, you know running Android and Android is quite a great operating system it has got some great features in there so that's DEX that's D-E-X that's the functionality again I believe on Samsung S series uh, phones I'm not too sure if it is available on any other if, uh, if you know it's available on any of the other Samsung series please let me know in the comments down below well there you go guys that's um, what I wanted to uh, share with you today is what to do with your mobile phone when you've been stupid and you've dropped it on the floor and you've busted your screen just giving it a second life what do you think has that been uh, really useful to you guys has that been informative hopefully it has been um, my name's Rob from RS Community Services, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please go ahead and subscribe. We really appreciate your support on this channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.